friends, and welcome back to Radiant Pursuit Ministries. God bless you, and thanks so much for being with me in today's video. So as you can see from the intro, it's a little bit new, what we're doing today, and we're going to talk about some very important news that I believe the church needs to be aware of. And I'm going to be doing videos like this from here on out just because it really is important for us to be aware of what's going on in the world, especially how it correlates to the biblical prophecies that we read in the Word. The Bible says in the book of Hosea that my people, the Lord's people, are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Guys, we cannot remain ignorant to what is going on around us. So these videos are purposed for us, the church, to be aware of the things that are going on in the world so that we are, one, not ignorant, and two, that we would make the appropriate decisions and reactions to what is going on out there. There is a very intense rumbling and shaking, a quickening that is going on right now. The Lord is doing. And guys, if we want to be on the right side, we need to make sure that we become unshakable. And with that said, in today's video, we're going to talk about a part of the body of Christ that has really compromised that I firmly believe will not be able to withstand the shaking of the Lord if they continue in this route. So I'm going to go ahead and put the article up on the screen and you can read along with me, guys. We're just going to read it plainly for what it says and it's it really is sad and disheartening. But guys, this is what is happening and we need to make sure that we do not compromise like these people are. So there is a Baptist union in the UK that is considering allowing ministers to marry a same sex partner. The Baptist Union of Great Britain, the Baptist Union of Great Britain has revealed it is reflecting on a request, quote unquote, to change its rules around same-sex marriage for its accredited ministers. Wow, guys, this is, I mean, we're going to keep reading, but this is honestly unbelievable. When I heard about this, my pastor actually shared it with me, and I was dumbfounded. Baptists, the Baptist Union of Great Britain is making this decision. I can't, I can't even believe that. I can't believe that they're even considering. The fact that they're even considering this is enough. That's, that's the problem. It's not even whether or not they end up folding or not, but the fact that they're even considering it. That just goes to show you that these people are not founded, are not built on the word. This issue of homosexuality is not a questionable one. It is not a gray area. The Bible is abundantly, abundantly clear. Homosexuality is an abomination. And the fact that these Baptists are even considering, I mean, that just, that just goes to show you what the state of the church is like in the world. In a communication with its churches, it confirmed a request was made in 2020 by 70 members, the majority of which are ministers. The request asked that the ministerial recognition rules be changed to remove a line which says that marriage is defined as quote, exclusively between a man and a woman. That change would mean that any minister who married their same-sex partner would no longer be committing gross misconduct and therefore have their accreditation revoked. Did you guys understand what we just read? Any minister, not just a member of the body, not just a churchgoer, a minister, a Baptist minister, if they decide to marry a same-sex partner, they would no longer, if you know, this gets passed and they agree on allowing this change to happen, they would no longer be considered committing a sin and their accreditation would not be removed. Meaning, in other words, they would be able to continue being a minister of the gospel. They would continue to be a minister in the Baptist church in Great Britain. Do you see how perverted this is? This is what the church is becoming. We are folding left and right to the woke media, the left wing, all this baloney, this, this one, honestly, the one world order that is really starting to creep into the body of Christ. And guys, this is why I'm making these videos because if we are not aware of these things, we will fold too. Jesus makes it very clear. It is he who endures to the end that will be saved. We need to endure these temptations and endure these hardships and the fact that the whole world is pointing in this one direction, we need to point in the opposite. And I know it's not easy, my friends, but that is what it means to be a Christian. It is to be against the world. It means to be a peculiar people, as the Lord says. If the Baptist Union of Great Britain is considering making this change, who knows how long it'll be before the Baptist Union here in America, the Southern Baptist Convention, the biggest denomination in the country, who knows when they're going to make that decision as well? Who knows when they're going to be considering revisiting the idea of marriage? It really is only a matter of time. Not to say anything against my Baptist brothers and sisters in Christ. I love them equally as I love any other brother and sister in Christ. But what I'm saying is, if these Baptists across the globe are considering this, 
who knows how long it'll be before the Baptists here in our country are doing that, or the Methodists, or whoever it may be, whatever denomination it may be. Guys, we are folding left and right, and we need to really wake up and be aware and stand firm on the truth of the Word of God. But anyways, guys, I wanted to make this video really quickly just so you guys could be aware of what really is going on in the world today, in the church today. We have many people who are professing Christ, yet are completely welcoming sin, compromising with wickedness, the things that God absolutely hates. And we cannot have affiliation with darkness and be a child of light at the same time. It simply does not work. We either hate one and love the other. We cannot serve two masters. Amen? Amen, my brothers and sisters. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to smash that like button and share it with others. People need to be aware of what's going on. Share it, share it, share it. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in next week's video. God bless you guys.